What's up guys, I'm George LaHoff and you're watching Maker's Best Friend. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I created this AutoCAD trophy for the AutoCAD Cam Challenge. Check it out. For those of you who aren't familiar with the challenge, Autodesk put out two challenges, one for experts and one for beginners to create a trophy in recognition of the World Cup that's coming up. Since I'm still new to Fusion 360 and Cam, I decided to participate in the beginner challenge and create a trophy utilizing the Autodesk logo. I started by downloading the Autodesk logo from the challenge website, and then I searched for an existing trophy design from GrabCAD. I decided to take this shortcut since I was running low on time before the challenge was due, but I also thought it would be great to show how easy it could be to make your own custom design off an existing design using Fusion 360. A big thanks to Konrad Jakubiak for your design. I apologize if I butchered your name, but I'll be sure to include a link of your design down below. The first thing I had to do was change part of this trophy since it had letters indented on top of it from a different award competition. I drew a design around these letters and just extruded a merge downwards. This allowed it to have a flat surface on top. After both parts were ready, I imported the Autodesk logo into the trophy assembly and then I scaled the logo so that it would fit on top of the trophy. After centering the logo on top, I merged the two parts together so that they would be connected for the 3D print. An important next step for exporting this design to Cura, which is the software I use for 3D printing, is to make the assembly into one body. This is the only way to export the entire design attached to each other into the Cura software. If you want the highest quality from your design, choose high for the refinement here so that it includes more details when it exports it to Cura. Once I have it in the software, I laid it down so that it would require less time to build up and it would actually have a lot more support since it's laying flat. And then I decided to scale up in the Cura software. In Cura, I have my printer bed's dimensions laid out, so it's actually easy to understand the limitations on my 3D printer. And I'm not too concerned with the dimensions of this build since it is just going to be a part I'm making for a, a competition. I then chose to create the support with only touching the build plate because I didn't want it everywhere because then that could actually ruin some of the details of the design. And since it's laying flat, it really only needs to be on the build plate. I then started the 3D print. So unfortunately after uh, cleaning this thing up um, and sanding it down there are still some issues on the left side because I do have um, a much lower end printer, a uh, cheap you know, $100 printer from China. So um, that'll happen. Um, I'm going to actually use this product called XTC 3D. Um, it allows me to add a coating to the 3D print. That should help fill in some of the holes. Um, so we'll take a look at what it looks like after I apply that. Thanks again for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and like below. Any questions or comments, go ahead and comment below. I try to get back to every single one of you guys. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching.